Look at me, man. This is terrible, what they did to me in D.C. Oh, I will say it. I have every right to say it. Ruined my life and took everything from me and put me in the back of a row house. That's basically my opinion. It is true, too, but I'm not going to argue with uh, delusional meth addicts anymore about reality. And um, as I've seen, as it was the case since I got here, they have a lot of people, you know, in official positions that want to declare that I'm mentally ill, mentally ill. The story gets so old. And because I'm so mentally ill, they have to haul me off and drag me off. And so I have this, you know, irrational fear of that. I, I, know, I know it is, but when it happens to you, it, naturally, you're going to react maybe a little irrational at times to that fear because it happened and it was unjustified and blah, blah, blah. I don't want to get lost into the argument of that. It's not really an argument, but whatever I'm trying to say. So I sit here today and I see that white lady and I got a green light. Go ahead, put her online, mommy. And I, I remember because I was a witness to all this, how fucking terrifying it was that night and the people going off into the roof into her side of the yeah, dude, all the stuff I witnessed. And I was sitting here in the chair. I'm so scared, right? Oh, yeah. And I hear a footstep on the goddamn metal out there that was after the bag. Oh, you fucking should have been here. A bag went boom. I already docked it the day after. Good for me, I know. And the bag was heavy and it was filled with metal. It went like, so do I have to? I can. I can describe what that sounds like, but please, can you do that part for me just right now? We can talk about this more in depth another time. Right, so a bag filled with metal went crashing from third floor down. Heard that. And then um, within a minute, I heard footprint, footstep on the metal. Clink. Someone was, oh God, fucking damn, I was so fucking scared in here. And I knew, do not look out. No window, mommy. I'm so glad I didn't see anything. Oh, that's good. I know I'm smart, man. My street credo is great. <sighs> smart girl. But I heard and smelled everything else, okay? Now these are very dangerous people. And one of them went that way, over to that white lady's house. Yeah. <sighs> so, um, yeah, I just have a lot of fear, you know, normal, it's normal. And I want to I wanna get away from that. And definitely I'm going to find a really cool therapist and keep her forever because I'm in recovery. And I know, especially when I start sponsoring, that would be great because I can help my sponsees. You know, it's like a whatever the word. Um, whew, I've been through too much here. And like what prompted me to uh, film was it's like the snowflakes are really big. They're kind of wet here, it's different. But the fact that it's snowing down here is really significant. And it's December. So this is a blessing that I'm trying to embrace and be present for. I'm gonna work on that today. Although I'm pretty much uh, uh, overwhelmed with my feelings today. Um, it's gonna be normal to feel that way, to be like, Feeling they feel intense, and I'm you know in this house still, and oh my god, they're emailing me, and they're hustling me for money, and they're in the pipes in the bathroom, looking like leaving the rug, like this shit is so fucking horrible here. So right, how do you not get caught up in your emotions? Well, you can try. That's all I know, to try. And um, it's just good too. Whether I do it or not, at least I tried. And I'm going to spend like five minutes to be present and to whatever the word I just used to notice how big the snowdrops are, snowflakes, and the fact that it's happening in D.C. and that it's happening in December and that this is a blessing from God. I choose to call it Ra. And I, Ra understands I'm perfect in his eyes with how I just said I feel and I have to force myself to be present for this. He understands that. And that's all he wants me to do is just try. Because no matter what is going on with me, right? It's, just, it's okay. We all have the right to feel and think what we feel. 
but he's going to do what he does too. And he is blessing this city. And it's coming down in the weather. It's manifesting itself. I choose to believe that. And I need to try to be present for that because I want to remember it. So I'm going to take a picture not of cars and weird people. Let's call them weird, right? No. Um, I'm not on this case, all right? I, I can call them whatever I like. Um, I'm a witness. Let's remember that. But let's try to not get all wrapped up in this right now. I'm going to take a picture of something else, like maybe the tree, Keith Squall with the... Because I want to remember this, this day and this blessing that DC is getting. And this should be, if there's anything that anyone hears from this video, just remember that we are with, I call it Ra, with Ra. He is with us. And it's manifesting in the weather. And December is a very special month. Um, no matter where you are. All right. So with that lecture, um... I do have a rational fear. I've been through too much trauma here. And when I go out, I, I documented for the boss, uh, bosses, all this stuff, which is tra traumatic for me after long enough and enough of it. But you still gotta do your job, right? <sighs> and at this point, what I shared in writing this morning was how I truly feel. You know, when I do get out of here, oh, fuck yeah, I'm finding myself, sorry, my profanity is going to happen. I'm finding myself a nice lady therapist who's got, like, the credentials, all right? And I'm going to pray and meditate on what one, and Jesus will guide me to what lady. And I'm going to keep her, and if the relationship eventually is time to change, I'll change therapist. But I don't think so. I think it'll be fine, you know? I'm not a therapist hopper. Um, but you can. You can always change a the therapist. You do not, it's not marriage. I mean, sometimes the therapist goes and does other things. So it's just whatever. Okay? But I want to tell people that in case they're looking to do the same thing, giving them some tips on that and how to approach this if they're new to it. But I know I need to, in order to not lash out or have uh, symptoms of trauma, certainly, I need to process this because I've been through too much with the officials. Are, it's really scary. And I know a lot of Americans feel that too. Because, but unfortunately, they see that all police like this. No, it's not all police. It's certain jurisdictions. I've been trying to say this for years, and I get frustrated. It's not all police. It's certain territories, regions, jurisdictions, so on and so forth. And I'm not going to stop saying that because you have no right to ban blast the entire United States police force. You have no right. And if you are, I have to make a judgment call. I do. And I have to defend the police. All right? But what they did to me here and, and all these folks at the grocery stores and the stuff I kind of just mentioned, enough of it, long enough, I got I to gotta see a professional to work this out. Because I don't want to be in a working environment, certainly working environment, um, or any sort of environment where you're interacting with other people and find that I'm snippety or I'm defensive, or I have trust issues, or the gamut, dude. I wanna work this out so I can be whole and healthy and present, like I said, for life. You know, I wanna be present. I don't wanna be caught up in something bad that did happen and not be present for the good that's happening, you know? Cause there's gonna be good that happens. I know it. Um, anyways, so my memory is kind of shot, I know. I am accepting of that. And um, I have the rent and I'm just scared in here today. You know, I, I do feel that way. It's a rational feel, fear. Nobody's coming to haul me off. And the, the, what I mean, the, the basis motive for that would be to shut up the witness. Right. I, yeah, totally have fear of that because this is, oh, I'm sure of it a stash house that they set up like New York, but no, New York's very scary. And they've been doing this for decades there for organized crime before it got really crazy with the whole Russia Al Qaeda thing. They were doing it before that. Um, so they know about protecting whatever they call this with the federal uh, attorneys probably have a different term for it, but they know how to protect houses where they do illegal stuff okay 
And they clearly, I don't think we're in the business of that very long in DC because it's Washington, DC. It used to be like all the fuzz and all the, the, the FBI lived here and, you know, normal, really nice folks, patriots. What happened here is really fucking scary. And now, like, you know, I know I witnessed a chick get killed. I know it. I'm fucking, come on, man. I'm going to just be a person in here. I don't need to be on the case talking like a lawyer. And I still smell it. And then the fucking ladies who I know did it are um, playing with pipes. They're pawing with their fingers. Fucking shit on the floor in there under rugs. Like, these people be deranged. I don't know, knew it. So I don't want to get too caught up in all that. Because we are having a really incredible moment in D.C. And now that the, the uh, construction crew has left. And you know what? We do have to note that there isn't any EMS. But when I heard the EMS, I was actually concerned. Because there are nice people here. And they might be crashing their cars and stuff. So in this kind of weather, I care. I care. I'm like, oh my God, be careful out there. You know? So I'm not hating on the EMS like I normally do. Not in a snowstorm. Absolutely not. And it's nice to have some peace and quiet. The crews left. They're fucking completely evil guys. I don't like any of these constructions. And I don't have to. They make people suffer. I think they should be sued and arrested. Um, and um, there's no siren. So I really want to go ahead. I'm going to film and stop now. And I'm gonna, what I'm doing after this, just to tell the world, is I'm going to try to at least breathe about 10 times deeply. And normally I can do it longer, but it's been too much here. And I'm so fucking like, oh, and then no one ever gives me a hug. No one calls. Dude. Like, fuck. I know. All right. It's, it's, I'm just praying to Jesus to get me through this. But I want to be present for this because we are with, I call it Ra. We are with Ra. He has got us. And he's manifesting himself in the weather. And this weather doesn't normally happen here. So I'm going to breathe and just do that. Even if I don't get like incredible meditational guidance. The fact that I did it, physiologically did it, it's going to take me to a better place. So that's what I'm going to do. And I don't know why I even made this video. I don't think I was saying anything too great for the case here in the house or anything. I'm just kind of sharing my moment. And it's okay because I can put that on social media. I don't think I had anything prolific or anything in this. I just don't. But I learned that NAA is really good to check in. And I have used that tool through this isolation. And I'm glad I did. All right. God bless America. Say goodbye.